Hey everyone, welcome back to our Victoria game. We are rushing red coats. We're gonna try a domination game. Um, yeah, we're getting kind of close. A handful of techs left. Um, I'd like to start sort of shifting gears pretty soon toward uh, toward war. So that will be coming up. I would like to get, try to get a general. Um, we're gonna need an industrial general. That's gonna require a lot of projecting, but we will probably try to do that. Right now we're gonna um, unlock Niter, try to get our Niter improved. I think we'll take the Builder card out for just a second. And let's put in Veteran C, that'll help us build our encampment buildings a little bit faster. We can chop this one and then get right into a to an armory. Oh, we do have a couple more scientific city-states. We met Anshan and Mitla, that'll be good to get envoys in. Boost our science more. We also need to get an envoy into Hunza. We got a Trader Admiral, that's always good. Another trade route. I'm thinking maybe this one we should just send to uh, probably just send to uh, to him to get the roads going, move our units faster. Since we're planning to attack him, that is get our niter improved. That's important because our red coats do take niter. We got our three archers out. That'll boost machinery. That also boosted uh, mercenaries as well. Another source of niter improved veterancy. That's also going to help us build our lighthouses too. Let's get Diplomatic League in. We got a couple envoys we need to use. I think Hunza for the gold. Maybe put one into Anshan as well. Okay, there's our plus four commercial hub. That's great. We got the boost to gunpowder. We're boosting everything we need to get. So that's good. Not gonna worry about boosting printing. That's gonna require universities. And then we'll have to build them. I, I'm probably just gonna, probably not gonna worry about that. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'll just push through printing. Would like to get an encampment in the capital. Let's let's place that down. For the moment, we do have veterancy in. Okay, let's let's chop this encampment, and we'll finish the trader. I think too. Oh, we came Suze of Hunza. That's good. I think extra gold on our trade routes. I do want to take out veterancy. I think I probably need um need to build some trebuchets. Ancient, classical, medieval siege unit production. That's good. But first, wait. We have diplomatic league in still. Let's put an envoy into Mitla. Yeah, now we'll put in Siegecraft. That looks good. Okay, Trebuchet. Got our Golden Age. Very good. I think we'll build a Trebuchet here as well. And let's chop another Trebuchet out of here. Maybe another one out of here too. Let's go all out on the on the Siege units right now. Actually, maybe... Let's see, we might have enough Siege units for the moment, I think. Maybe we start making Swordsmen. I'll make, I'll make another one. Why not? Gotta start saving our gold now, for sure. There's a Siege Tactics boost, beautiful. And we've entered Medieval Era, we got another Golden Age. Our culture is really bad without Penbrush and Voice, so I think we just need to take that again. I mean, we could take Drums of War, let's see. Extra production toward military units. No, I think long term though, I think this is gonna go further for us. Ah, man, it is pretty nice. One gold reduced maintenance. Let's see, a little culture from the encampment buildings, but not much. I think, I think this is still the way to go, yeah. All right, policy change. I think we're done with our siege units for the moment. Let's put in feudal contract. We need to make our pre-builds for our red coats. Okay, we have the World Congress. Let's see, duplicates of amenities grant, duplicates of res luxury resources grant amenities. I don't think we really have duplicates, but we could get some duplicate spices up, so we'll vote for that. Maybe just one vote. Gains a policy slot government. Let's go with uh, our tier two government that we're about to get into right now, which is monarchy. And we'll vote for ourselves on the Diplo points. Let's go all out on this one, monarchy. Okay, beautiful. We got the one we wanted. Mercury grants no amenities. That's fine. Okay, government unlocked. Get into monarchy. We probably want feudal contract. We probably, we are finishing another armory. So I'll put that in for, for the moment. Extra production builders. We could do more builders. We could do more gold. We're making more units. Let's, let's use conscription. When we start the war, we'll play this. Yeah, I guess more gold here too. Looks pretty good. And another trade route. I think I just want to send this one to, to here to get a nice road through here that will meet. These will kind of meet up. Got another admiral. This one can give us some gold. Gold from luxury resource. All right, governor title. Now, what do we take here? We could take grants to try to get a general faster. We could also start promoting Victor for the double promoted spy, but I think we'll go with grants first. 
we'll start projecting for general here. All right, let's get out of veteran C. Let's put conscription here. What else do we want? Maybe, maybe more gold here because we do have quite a few units that we need to upgrade. That looks good. Okay, four turns on this, but we also do need to get gunpowder and then military tactics too. So I guess we'll go back and sort of start getting those. This city needs a project for general. Let's get a military engineer out of this city. We might want that later for roads and stuff. Okay, we got our first general. Medieval Renaissance. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take that. Governor title. I think we need to promote um, Tord Embrasure. We probably need to build like Grandmaster's Chapel. I guess we'll do that. And then we'll keep projecting. That will that's this will give us our third promotion for Victor, which we need for our spy. Our spy is gonna start with a promotion when we build him. Let's see, we don't even have spies unlocked yet. Let's try to get that. Now I wanna get a try to get a military alliance with somebody. Maybe maybe Vietnam. Vietnam doesn't like doesn't like Basil. So if we become military allies with her and then we get her to attack him as well. That'll be plus five combat strength. That'll be pretty good. But she doesn't have alliance yet. Pericles has an alliance. Let's get... We can't really trade. I'll just do economic. I think... Wait, does he... He doesn't like... Maybe we'll do a military ally with him. He doesn't like Basil. So I bet we can get him to declare. So two turns, we can start building a spy. This is the, the uh, civic that gives you that ability to make a spy. Our goal right now is just to make as many swordsmen as we can. For redcoats... We don't have to upgrade them all immediately, but eventually I'm sure we will. Let's really push the gold. We'll put another gold card in there. Drop the gold there. We're out of iron, so now we get to make warriors instead of swordsmen. So that's sort of even better. Oh, we need to seize Hunza again. All right, we can make a spy now in this city. Go for that. We'll have another governor promotion next turn. That's perfect. Making these units now might also help our simming later because then... We don't really have to make more units after this. We basically made everything. We just have to upgrade pretty much. So let's see, a few turns. We've got two turns on this. This will probably be one turn. I think this will be one turn as well. So that means four turns till our upgrades. Four turns, let's see. So that actually times with humanism. Good, okay, perfect. Now this city actually needs to start Terracotta Army because we want to get that that spy, that double promoted spy. It's gonna have one promotion when it finishes here, thanks to Victor. Victor's uh, embrasure promotion. Uh, and then when, uh, if we finish this after that, we'll get the second promotion on him. And then we can do the listening post mission with that spy. And that's gonna give us plus six combat strength because you get plus three every level of diplomatic visibility. When you have a, when you're doing that mission with just a base level spy, you get plus three, you get one level up. If it has two promotions, then you get two levels up. So an additional plus three combat strength. Got another general. We're still not on the industrial generals yet, but I think pretty soon. Now we can go back to projecting here for a general. Got all these swordsmen on their way. Okay, let's give the promotion there. Okay, we're about to get man at arms. I think we've got enough pre-builds. I think we've got enough. We don't really want to be making man at arms to pre to uh, pre-build because they, they cost a lot more production. We could do the policy change now and upgrade some units. Let's see. Yeah, actually, maybe we take this out now. Put in professional army. I think that looks good. We can get like two crossbows. That's that's an important boost for metal casting. And the metal casting is going to give us bombards. It's so fun getting a good timing going. This is what I love. I almost enjoy this more than like simming now because there's there's so many more there's so many more factors at play. Like you want to get to your unit fast, but you also want to have a lot of pre-builds. You want to have enough gold to upgrade them. You want other things like spy, general, military engineer. There's all kinds of different factors at play. Like how many scientific or other city states there are kind of depends on, or kind of determines how quickly you can get to your chosen unit. Terrain can sometimes come into play. It's fun. It's pretty fun to, to do like a time to rush. I think I might just upgrade this crossbow now too. This one, let's see, this is another Renaissance, medieval Renaissance. We can get another trebuchet, why not? We'll work toward the shells promotion on that. So we have like five trebuchets, which is really good at this point. Tons of siege units. We're done building melee units, so that's good. I guess all of our gold will now go into promoting swordsmen. Oh, foreign culture victory imminent. Greece, oh my goodness. Are we gonna lose a culture victory here? 
Whoa, nobody's really defending. I guess I'm the defender. Five out of 28, seven turns till culture victory. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna keep playing anyway. Even if we lose, I, I, I put too much into this, uh, into this attack. I love the roads in here. Like this is all just easily accessible. Okay, we have that now. Let's get gunpowder one turn. We're up to industrial units here on our general, so that's good. Projecting still. Spy will be out next turn with a promotion. All right, let's get this guy promoted. Let's see, it doesn't really matter, I think. Whatever. Okay, we are one turn. Yeah, one turn from Redcoats. Beautiful. Got our policy switch timed well. I guess we already have this card in, so that's fine. Okay, I think maybe one more project, maybe two, one or two more projects. We'll have our, our general, industrial general. All right, there is our red coats. We've unlocked them. Awesome. So now one important point about the spy. We've got the wonder finishing in two turns. If you transport the spy to another city and then you finish terracotta and he's still in transit, he doesn't get the promotion, which is terrible. I've tried that. <laughs> so we don't want to do that. Unless, yeah, nothing is one turn. It's going to take at least three to move him. So, I mean, we could. I wonder if we moved him here. Now, let's see. If we move him here, that might actually be okay. And then I think he might. Let's test that. Will he be faster once he's here? Get into some of these other cities. I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay, we are ready. We are ready to upgrade. I think we might as well put in, take this card out. Let's put in um, retinues for the resource discount too. We might not need it. We, we have a lot of niter, but I just I don't want to run out of niter. Plus we've got to upgrade some bombards in a few turns too. So that's good. All right, let's do that. Time for red coats. So 135 gold. We can't get a whole lot of these, just a few, just a handful of them to start with. So here we go. Red coat time. Grade, that's three. It's 160 from a, from a warrior. I guess we'll try to spare our gold. We'll just upgrade the swords first. Okay, another one. Yeah, we've got enough to upgrade this guy. Let's upgrade him. Okay, so what is that? Five, six red coats. Not bad, six red coats. Hopefully we can get, um, in a couple turns, hopefully we can get a couple bombards promoted. Let's see, how's our general? General, we still don't have. We need to do another project. That'll be coming soon. Now I guess we can sort of get these, uh, get these, um, Extra melee units out of the way. Need to get our crossbows up to the front. Get our trebuchets up to the front. All right, here comes the battle. The battle will be coming very soon. These cities should be pretty easy to take, I think. Another governor title, I'll take that. We can finally take a new governor. Let's go with maybe, mm, let's see, let's go with Magnus, actually. We might need to do Magnus internals for our trade routes. Magnus and Pingala internals. That's a better balance games thing, BBG. Okay, where's our spy? Spy is here. Okay, is it faster? It's still three turns. Okay, that didn't really help. But anyway, Terracotta is finishing next turn. We're going to just sit the spy here for one more turn. All right, are we ready to attack? I think we're ready. Let's try to get Greece in on the attack. Make a deal. Let's see. I right, Maybe we have to declare on him first. Declare surprise war. Let's do it. And then let's get Greece in. Join ongoing war, Basil. Hopefully he'll do this. He doesn't want to do it. Why doesn't he want to do that? All right, whatever. Okay, move our units up to the front. Here they come. Here they come. The red coats are coming. Yeah, these are pretty strong. They're going to get even stronger. Okay, there's Terracotta. Everybody gets a promotion. That's amazing. Most importantly, our spy. I guess well, it doesn't really matter. He's just going to be doing the same mission the whole game, pretty much. And there is our Renaissance, our industrial renaissance general beautiful this is our red coat general plus five combat strength to our red coats i guess do we take our promotions now or do we just kill these units let's take the promotions let's go with battle cry that's a good one and i can be i probably should be like fortifying then promoting Ooh, these are gonna be good they are gonna be good some of these we need to mix them up we need to take some tortoise maybe tortoise on the swordsman Later on, they can join up, pour up with the, the battle cry red coats. Yeah, so basically we just promote everybody. This guy gets a really good promotion. Shell's promotion plus 10 against city centers and districts, I think. We sort of want to mix these up too, like these will eventually combine. All right, we got bombards unlocked. Get our military academy. Okay, next turn we need to promote some bombards. 
That'll be important. Oh, this guy almost died. Our crossbow, but he's safe. We promoted him to the to the uh, plus 10 on districts. All right, time to move in. Let's get our general up the front. Now we can start moving our spy. We want this to be in a back city that we're going to take last. Ideally this city, but can't see that city. So maybe just Brussels. Send him to Brussels. Three turns. Okay, we have our general up to the front. We Let's do this real quick. Let's promote our bombards. One, two. Oh, we boosted nationalism. How did we do that? Oh, own a land combat unit with three promotions. Oh, they changed this in, in BBG. This is much better. Wow. This this used to be, I think, declare war using a Cassus belly, which is very, very hard to do early, early enough to get the boost. So this is good. Ooh, look at that. 86 combat strength. All right, we need to save. Let's see. Let's move this guy up. Move this guy up. Hit here. Hit here. I hope this guy doesn't die. Move up to the city center. Move this guy up. Hit hit this guy let's hit move here this guy can can die beautiful oh we can kill one of these let's do that kill that guy another bombard oh wow this is great so many bombards let's see do we, we there's still one more here good upgrade let's get that yeah this is such a good idea from bbg land unit with three promotions i mean it's not like you can it's not easy to get that that's that takes a lot of investment in military either you've already you will have already been at war a lot to get a, a unit like this I mean this is only a mid-game civic so either a lot of earlier war or you'd have to really like plan out your military stuff like uh, like with terracotta maybe a little bit of war to get a promotion um yeah it just takes it's it's good it's a Really, really good idea. Much, much better, I think, than the original promotion. Oh, we have them on our boats too. Let's let's not forget about that. At some point, we'll use these. We just don't have enough gold to go do. Like we could go attack Portugal across the sea, but we just we don't have enough gold right now to upgrade any boats. So not gonna worry about that. I guess we're trying to get a golden age. Let's see. Where's our fleet? There's a fleet. Um. Yeah. Here's the fleet. I'd like to get a sea dog too. I guess I'll use that for the sea dog, sea dog fleet. Okay, finally we can get universities, get our science moving back up in the right direction. Let's see here. So, what about policy cards? We don't really need retinues anymore. We have we have tons of nitre. We did, we probably didn't even need it to begin with. We will be doing more upgrades soon. Oh, oligarchic legacy. What am I doing? That's that's important. Good thing we didn't do too much war till, till I put that in. Plus four combat strength for our melee units. Liberalism is probably a good idea. Maybe builder card. Yeah, let's do that. Hurts our gold a lot, but we do. We are making some builders. If the city doesn't get walls, oh, we're gonna two two shot the city. Let's see, so Amina, that's our industrial general. Yes, beautiful. Ooh, look at that. And if that doesn't work, got our bombards to take any walls down. It's gonna be great. Yeah, with a normal an online speed, like with with a a simming science victory. You really, you can, you basically one turn all the text for the last half of the game. So like turn 50-ish, if you're already one turning stuff, you can, you can basically calculate how long the game's going to be in advance. It kind of makes the last half of the game a little meaningless. But man, when you have a good like timing game, it's just, there's just so many more factors at play. Like how, how developed is the AI? And then all the other things I mentioned before, like there's, there's just so many interesting uh possibilities Ooh, okay this city does not have walls beautiful do we try to get a bombard up there Eh, probably not not worth it let's hit this guy hit this guy oh i need to promote this guy yeah promote that Ooh, can i let's see i guess i'll move this one here yeah let's give it a shot can we get another bombard up there yeah we can beautiful so we can just take this with one hit from a red coat keep that city Full loyalty. Would be good to get a golden age though. We go up here and get this city now. Maybe we go straight for the capital. No walls on the capital yet. Okay, what is our next plan? Do we go, I guess we go for infantry. I guess we sort of go for, we might as well go for research labs then. Infantry is the next melee step. And we could go for steel, like for artillery. No, I think, I think we'll go, let's go, um, Let's start, let's do industrialization into research labs. And then along the way, we'll have infantry. That seems pretty good. All right, how's the culture victory looking? 
Kind of slowed down a little bit. That's good. Do I dare push this guy forward? I think I might. I'm going to be a little, little daring here. He might. I think he'll be okay. I'm sure even if he takes all these hits, he'll, he should be fine. Oh, this guy even has a promotion. Plus two movement on the scout. So five movement on the scout. This guy's got promotion too. And this one as well. Okay, let's see what happens to this guy. Does he survive? He does take a lot of damage. Yikes. But he's okay. He's okay. He's got a farm to pillage too. Beautiful. There's our military academy. First one. Ooh, do we push push into Constantinople? He's almost got a promotion. I think I've got a pillage though. Yeah, let's pillage. All right, let's keep pushing this guy forward. We can start moving these guys in. Hit, 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 kill him. Have Newton or Einstein, Newton or Khaldun gone? Khaldun is gone. Let's see, Galileo. No, Newton is still up. Let's pass on this. Yeah, pass on the scientists. We need to move this up. Oof, decisive victory. I guess we can shoot and hit. Decisive. We haven't even gotten our spy yet. We're still waiting on the spy. And we're still waiting on, um, oh, the foreign continent too. We're about to enter the foreign continent. It'll be an extra plus five to these guys. So that's going to be plus 11 with the spy. And then we're going to have cores soon too. That's going to be like another, I think, plus, what is that? Plus 10? Oh, we need to get banking. We actually need to need a bank probably. So, well, we have harbors though. Maybe not. Although this city needs a bank. Okay, we can get another red coat. We do have professional army in. Very good. Will he join our war now? How about now? Still no. Nope. Okay. okay there's nationalism. We can do cores and fleets. And we have our spy. Let's do listening posts. Plus six combat strength there. <laughs> we can one shot the encampment. Whoa. <laughs> That's great. Wow. Let's see. I want to promote this guy, but I also want to move him forward too. I guess we'll just kill the encampment. Okay, we got Newton. Very good. Two science to our universities. Actually, we don't have to make, yeah, like this city. The city can just use him here for the university. Yeah, I'm going to take the, the promotion here. Let's see, this guy, this guy's a little vulnerable, I think. I'll go ahead and hit, hit here. We could jump this guy across. Wait a second. No, but uh, that's a duplicate promotion. Okay, let's promote maybe Magnus, a little pro production on our trade routes to his city. Okay, there's a the first fleet, first core. We can probably get first fleet as well. Yeah, let's get first fleet right here. Beautiful. Oh, we have a cartography now. Okay, we just need one era score. Get a golden age. Enough gold for another uh, red coat. Oh, we can combine our bombards. Oh, he's gonna build walls there in the capital. That's all right. Special session aid request. I thought it was gonna be a military emergency, but no. Ooh, creates an ironclad. And we have a golden age. Awesome. Bombard can move up. Ooh, total wall damage. Beautiful. Yeah, we should be able to just push right into here. Easy. Should be pretty easy. Push right in. Kill this guy too. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. We can probably just t have two of these units hit the city down. Finally, our plus five industrial zone in the capital. Okay, this should be pretty easy to take. Start hitting this city. Maybe get some swords up there to surround it put it under siege let's hit move this up let's see now i think we just hit it Ooh, wow just like that one shot it's a one hit with the bombard and one shot from the red coat did the job nice okay that's our first capital now this guy i could move him here no he can't oh yeah he can next turn he can hit this city that should be pretty quick to take el cid let's see yeah he needs to be in range Okay, I think it's a good place to stop. This is uh, this is looking really good, except for the culture victory. We may end up losing, but it's fine. I just want to have some fun. I just want to take some cities with red coats, and it looks like we can do that. So good game. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll pick this up next episode.